everyone, it's Shauna. We are currently in the thick of wedding preparations. Right now when I'm filming this, we are just under one month till the wedding. So I have a lot of stuff to do. Things like the place cards, once you have everyone RSVP for the wedding, and then making your seating chart, buying the marshmallows for the s'mores table, making sure you have all your wedding songs picked out and those are sent to the DJ. I tried to get as much as I could possibly done in the year and a half engagement that we had prior to the wedding so that I wasn't feeling super stressed out and leaving everything to the end. So throughout the last year and a half, I've been doing a lot of DIY projects for the wedding and I filmed a bunch of clips just on the little projects that I was working on throughout the year. I really like getting crafty and creative and uh, just working on little projects over the year and a half just like sparks joy, you know? So I hope you guys enjoy watching some of my DIY projects and let's get started. The largest DIY that we tackled for our wedding was this multi-panel welcome sign. It was a really colorful statement piece at our wedding and we used it at both our ceremony space and then we moved it over to our reception tent. So it was essentially a three panel system that had welcome to our wedding on it and then there was a two panel system that went in the front. I used a makeshift string with a pencil to create a protractor to draw the curves of the arches on some leftover three quarter inch plywood. My brother used a tool to cut out the arches and we sanded each piece before I started painting them to match our wedding accent colors. We also cut out a couple small arches to use as miscellaneous signages around our wedding, like our guest book sign, our hashtag sign, things like that. I went to the hardware store and I bought sample paint pots for all of our wedding accent colors instead of using acrylic paint. It just has a much thicker coverage and I applied it with paint rollers to cover all the large surfaces. We cut out these little triangles and include them onto the back with A6000 glue just so that the small signages could stand up on their own. And then after painting the large welcome sign panels and all the small signages, we bought these gold hinges and attached them onto the back of the panel system for the welcome sign so that the welcome sign could stand on its own and it would be foldable for transport. And then I cut out permanent white vinyl using my Cricut for the words on the welcome sign. I DIY'd some personalized cornhole boards to use as a cocktail hour activity. I found these boards from Costco, gave them a sand to get any of the excess logos off, added a new coat of stain, and cut out our logo using Cricut Permanent Vinyl. So today I am doing a mock-up trial of my reception tables, mainly to decide on the linen colors and if I need any more like bits and pieces to go on the reception tables to fill it out. This is what it's looking like so far. So we're doing harvest tables for our wedding. The tables the wedding venue are much darker and obviously not the right chairs and there's eight table settings per table it's basically gonna be like a nine foot run times three so it'll be like long harvest table runs and this is the cheesecloth that i have draped there i just haven't cut it out yet gold charger this is gold cutlery just because this is what we have at home but the caterer is providing silver and silver honestly it's fine like i don't want to have to go through rentals get a different color knife and fork you know what i mean not in the budget though i like the look of the napkins hanging down these are just like <laughs> christmas napkins just a pure white napkin and then i have little menu cards and like name place cards that'll go on each place setting i haven't designed those yet so i still tbd on those and then i made these little floral arrangements and then this will be live greenery so i just got these faux garlands just to visualize what it's going to look like but this will be all live eucalyptus and italian ruscus and little white flowers that we're putting in them i think they might end up being lithianthus <laughs> candle holders these little gold votives so i think i definitely need to get a couple more bases with candles in them just to make it a little bit more compact i think there's just like a gap in the table right there and then just pulling the chiffon on the floor there cool and my mom's like oh what if someone like a drunk person steps on it and i was like you know what i'm not gonna babysit everybody you know if they're gonna step on it and the whole table's gonna come apart like shit happens so i'm not gonna let that ruin the vibe you know that's the uh the look for today and I think it looks pretty cute. So I dyed all the cheesecloth table runners for the wedding. I used tea dyeing, so tea bags in hot boiling water. At first it was too light, so I used a tan colored red dye and I just held it in the water for a couple minutes to give it that nice taupey tan color. It helped to tie in the natural linen elements from some of the other signages. And then we had a lot of dried florals and we even had beige chiffon ribbon hanging from our bouquets. So I have my Cricut pulled out and I'm currently finishing off the little champagne flutes for the wedding so I had done uh, personalized champagne flutes in my bridesmaid proposal boxes now I'm doing them for Jake and I and my mom so we can have them on the day of the wedding to get ready 
The next DIY I did was made these little lavender toss packets. I filled half of them with lavender and then half of them was with a biodegradable confetti that I purchased off Etsy. So I got these little packets off of AliExpress and then I used my printer to print this little design that I made onto each individual envelope, filled each one with some lavender. I ended up getting this second hand from a previous bride. So the little pack of lavender was only five bucks for that whole thing and then I just filled them up with a little scooper, added some clear tape to the back and our wedding coordinator put them on the guest seats at the wedding ceremony so that they could toss them on us as we make our way back up the aisle after we are pronounced husband and wife. Our wedding invitations were ordered from an online website called Magnet Street and I DIY the belly bands to hold the invitation together by cutting strips of vellum paper that I got from the craft store and then I had ordered this custom wax seal stamper with our initials on it from AliExpress along with gold glue gun sticks. I picked them up from AliExpress and then I think I got the remainder from Amazon and then I melted a piece of baby's breath into each wax seal. Next up, I made my bar signage and this listed all of the alcohol and mixed drinks that were available for guests to have at the open bar. So I used a linen material. This was left over from our seating chart that we made using the exact same linen. And I also made a tapestry that hung in the, some of the trees in the forest that had a nice quote from an Elvis Presley song on it. Just used some heat transfer Cricut vinyl. This draped over the bar venue. So I'll show you the, what the bar looked like. We just had our wedding coordinator drape it over the bar top and it thought it looked really cute. So I'm going to be making my menu cards today. This is a little print up of a mock-up that I just did. So I'm gonna do the different little colors. These are gonna be in a separate piece of cardstock. I just did it like a little mock-up so I could print it out to see how the colors would be. And then I'm gonna hole punch them together and then tie them with these little ribbons that I picked up from Amazon. These are just little chiffon raw edge ribbons. I'm printing everything out on this super heavy cardstock and I got this big pack from Michaels. Then we're feeding the cardstock into our new printer. This was a bridal shower gift, so brand new, but super excited to use it for lots of wedding goodies and preparing all the things that we still need to print out, like the place cards and the wedding menus. So super handy for that. And then these are the little paint pots that I had used when I was doing like our welcome sign. So these are our colors, our accent colors, and then we're doing gold and just like neutrals. This is sort of the color that our bridesmaids dresses are gonna be in. Then I just designed text on Apple Pages. Did a little like thin splice line between them, cut them all out so I was able to fit two per eight and a half by 11 page. These are all the guests who ordered our meat option for dinner. I did them in the sage green to match our wedding colors and then everyone who did a vegetarian option, I put them in the terracotta color. So these are sort of like our two accent colors for the day and then I'm tying it with a little cream ribbon and I got the cream ribbon off of AliExpress and Amazon. I originally ordered it from Amazon then I realized I needed some more so I got the remaining ones from AliExpress. Really light khaki tan color that goes with our wedding colors as well. These are kind of ones that um, I like messed up so they already have hole punches in them but place card there and then I'm hole punching this so that they can just tie a little ribbon around and then it'll be this cute little menu place card at each table setting and then the coordinator is going to put them out based on our table layout and our seating chart. Oh and I forgot to mention I also printed these out at my own home printer as well so everything I just did myself. Did a little rectangle on pages with everyone's name in it as they started RSVPing. After we sent out our wedding invitations, we gave everyone a timeline to respond by. So as some came trickling in, I basically just tackled half of them about a month ago. And then our cutoff date was a few days ago. So I'm tackling the remaining of them. As soon as someone would RSVP on our website, I would just add their name on a place card. So that when the cutoff date came, I just printed them all out and it wasn't such an overwhelming task, you know? We've been having RSVPs rolling in. So what I'm doing today is going to make a mock-up of our seating chart so we have to submit a seating chart to our venue so they know how many chairs to set up and where to put them we're doing assigned seating for our wedding so everyone is going to have a name card at their wedding spot and i guess hp has like a free printing for six months like free ink so they expense a part of the project which is usually the ink uh, is actually free for me for right now. So which worked out perfectly so I can do all the printing just before the wedding. So I'm going to sketch out the tables on this big piece of paper and then I have these box of post-it notes and they come with these little guys that I'm gonna write every guest name on. Doing it this way allows you to be able to move people around really easily. So that's the concept and I hope I can execute it. I color coded the sticky notes by like my immediate family, um, our friends, um, my mother-in-law's immediate 
family and friends and my mom's media friends and vendors. But yeah, this is how it's looking so far. And then as more people RSVP, we will write their name on and stick it in. To make the stand for our seating chart, we purchased quarter inch PVC pipe from the hardware store along with some quarter inch elbow and T-shaped connector pieces. My husband cut all the pieces to size and we attached everything together. We didn't bother to glue it so we could easily disassemble it for transport. And then I gave the stand a couple coats of gold spray paint to match our wedding accent colors. I would recommend using a primer though because it, the gold spray paint kind of scratched off easily. And I've been using my Cricut to cut out all the letters on an ironable vinyl. They turned out really nice. I found with this vinyl in particular, I'm able to apply heat directly to the clear backing of the heat transfer vinyl, but some of them, the iron gets a little too hot and you have to use a little cloth in between so that it doesn't melt the plastic, but this specific vinyl that I got off Amazon seems to be working just fine. And this is our last big DIY before the big day. My kitchen island has turned into a straight up disaster zone. I'm trying to make a little floral swag to put on the seating chart stand. And then this is the seating chart. I just have my glue gun plugged in and I'm just going to tack this down with glue. Honestly, I think it'll probably hold because the fabric is really thin and light. Create like a little loop so I can fit the little PVC pipe through it. Oh my gosh, guys, look how good this looks. I'm obsessed. Obviously not finished yet, but I just zip tied it on so I could work with it on the actual seating chart and lay everything out. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed. So that is a ton of the DIY projects that I did for our wedding. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and provided some info if you're planning your wedding for the future. Make sure to like this video and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.